Richard Forrester, and we are with Pastor Mark Lehman. Mark, how you doing? Doing great, Richard. Good to see you. Yeah. We, in my former life with uh, corrections, I, I worked with your wife. She was uh, the nurse up at Pine Grove Camp. Still is. Still there. is. Still <laughs> is. Life Chief medical on. officer at the camp. We got to call her that. Yeah. So. She did a, a good job with that, with the working with the she, population up there. She's a great, great wife and a wonderful nurse. Yeah, she is. So. I bet, and a great mother too. Absolutely, you got a good Absolutely. family. So how are Church, Church of the Nazarene going? It's going good. It's going good. We're fast into the uh, Christmas season. Mm -hmm. So you got uh, the Living Christmas. Is that what it's called? The Living Nativity. Living Nativity. Scene? Living, living Nativity. nativity yeah. scene. Now I've talked to some people who participate in those, not here, mm -hmm. but in other communities, and they they look forward to it. But they say, boy, does it get cold out there. You know, it does. It does. And, in fact, today we are setting the, all the sets up and stages there. So the weather looks like it might be better this weekend yeah. than last weekend. So we chose a good weekend for it. But it is, a, it is cold, and it is a, a commitment from the people. It is. But it is, it's really worth it. It is a great, great experience for us as a church, but also mm -hmm. for the community. Commitment and a sacrifice, I guess, for people to get out there. And, uh, you know, you endure the cold, but uh, I, I guess you look at uh, what Jesus had to endure. There we go. There you go. You yeah. hit the nail on the head. But, yeah. uh, you know, the, we dress warmly, and it's a good story, and it's just a wonderful way for us to kind of tell the community again what the mm -hmm. season's all about. So. That's right. Um, when does the, the living nativity scene take place? Well, it starts uh, Friday and Saturday night. This Friday the 13th and Saturday the 14th from 7 to 9 p.m. So okay. uh, both nights, and we, we hope everybody will come out for that. And, and again, I hope they realize that they get to stay in their car. They... They drive through. We give them a... With the heater on. With the heater on. With uh, They get a narration. They can either get a, a DVD this year. We, we can, uh, they can download off their smartphone and listen to it through their, uh, their, their car if they like. Mm -hmm. But there's 10 scenes. It doesn't take very long to drive through, and it's, it's, very, it's well worth it. Mm -hmm. so. Now, when they, when they drive through, um, what does it take? Like a minute or so to drive through? Uh, a little longer than that. You know, probably it depends on how much backup there might be, but plan on about five to ten minutes. Uh, just because it takes a little while, but mm -hmm. you want to drive slowly. There's 10 scenes in which uh, you'll see, and, and all of them have actors uh, portraying mm -hmm. the different events. You know, we have a scene at the, the temple where you mm -hmm. talk about the prophets, who Isaiah, who wrote about the coming Messiah, and then a scene with uh, uh, Gabriel, the angel, visiting Mary, mm -hmm. who I think uh, my youngest daughter will play Mary in that scene this year, mm -hmm. and then a scene where the uh, the crowds gather to take the census and a and a scene at the inn where there's no room for Mary and Joseph. Then we have a wonderful scene with the angels and shepherd, and mm -hmm. of course the uh, the highlight of the uh, the event is the uh, birth scene, the manger scene. So, uh, and it's it is a very very good, well done uh, event. I always wanted to be a wise man, but I haven't made it yet. So <laughs> I think we have one spot left. I'm afraid, so, <laughs> but anyway. So it's it's quite a, a scene for people to drive through, and all the characters are dressed in Absolutely. as they were dressed uh, at the time of our Lord. As so. as best we can. So we, we try to do that, and we try to you know give a little energy to the uh, to the events. So you're not just seeing still figures. There's movement happening there, but uh, mm -hmm. it, it is the narration of each scene will tell you what's happening on and, and happening okay. in the event, and and it's it's really it's really good, and I think that people. We'll enjoy it. Every year we have new people that, that come for the first time. And mm -hmm. Now, if they can't, they're not tech-savvy and can't download that app, is there any other way to do well, it? Well, if they don't, if they have a CD player in their car, that mm -hmm. was good. If they don't, we we'll even give them a little portable uh, okay. CD player they can put in the car and listen there. So okay. we want to make sure everybody can hear the, uh, the, uh, the narration. Okay. And, uh, That's good. Yeah. Is there any cost to it? It's all free. It's all free. Or so. people can make a donation, I guess, if they want. Well, people are always welcome to donate. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm a pastor. I don't, I don't turn down donations very often, but uh, right. they're always welcome. But it's a free event. We want to just bless the uh, community and uh, help them celebrate what Christmas is all about. Mm -hmm. Now, you've been with Church of the Nazarene for quite a few years, right? Uh, I just, uh, about 18 and a half years now. Okay. Uh, I know. I started really young. Uh -huh. So uh, coming up on the big uh, twenty-year anniversary right around the corner. Oh so. man, don't don't say that. Yeah, <laughs> but it's it's been wonderful, been a blessed time, and it's just been a joy and a great great people to to minister to and be a part of. Now there's always opportunity within 
your church to move to a bigger site or move to a bigger job? Oh, Who would want to leave Amador County, Richard? Yeah. Come on. That's what I, that's what I say. <laughs> When uh, people keep saying, do something in Sacramento, I say, well, why? Yeah. It's, I've got my daughter who's graduated college, and she wants to move back here and teach. So we're, who knows? But that's, that's great. We love it here, and it's a great, great community. And we're blessed. And, uh, you know, we've been doing this living nativity for, I don't know, 15 years now, mm -hmm. 14, 15 years. And so, right. you know, we just still enjoy it. So. There aren't many other jobs besides corrections and teaching you can get in Amador County. But uh, teaching <laughs> is a good profession. My wife's a teacher. So. She is. Uh, um, what else is going on this holiday season at the Church of the Nazarene? Well, we always have our Christmas Eve service, candlelight service, on uh, 24th, Tuesday night, 24th. And it'll be two services, 5 o'clock and 7. So uh, it's, a, it's a very... Very relaxed, uh, intimate time. We just have some carols and little stories, and I give a little word, and then we have a, a wonderful time where the lights are down, and we light candles. Everybody holds a candle, and we sing Silent Night, and right. it really is probably one of my favorite times of the year. Probably my, the moment I really enjoy of all that is just that, that intimate time as a church. Right. You, intimate is a word because it seems like when you're in that kind of a setting, lighting the candle yeah. and singing, Silent Night is one of those songs that... That makes you feel more intimate and, and, and attached to people. Absolutely. And you, you figure this has been such a crazy season. And Christmas Eve, for many people, is the first time to kind of take a breath and slow mm -hmm. down. And it's just good time to focus. So everybody's invited to come to that, five or seven, mm -hmm. on Christmas Eve. Okay. And then uh, tonight, of course, the Living Nativity. Or not tonight, excuse me, Friday, Friday and Saturday. Night. Boy, I'll get in trouble for yeah. that. But. I, that's a good uh, thought, though. People just need to... Sometimes you're all worried about presents, and you see these scenes on TV with people mashing the, the, the glass trying to get into a store and knocking people down, and just relax and take it, take it take easy and breath. think about what it's all about. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So living nativity scene, Friday night. Friday night, Saturday night, 7 to 9 both nights. I realize that there's a the parade is Saturday night in Sutter Creek, but that's at 6.30. You can go to the parade and drive up to the Church of Nazarene for living nativity and okay. see it all. If people wanted to download that... Um, that uh, DVD first, could they do that? Uh, they could probably go to the website, org. I'm not sure it's up today. It should be up tomorrow, I think. Okay. And just uh, look at that. It's, it's going to be an audio file that they can listen to. So if they can't even uh, see the nativity, they can listen to the story. Right. And um, hopefully they'll enjoy the voice of the narrator. So. Okay. Pastor Mark, thank you for being here. Thank you, Richard, very much. Have All a right. great Christmas. You too. And we're going to go over to Alan. He's going to intro the um, Claypool's store Christmas merchandise.